What's up, people? Big box on the blue sofa with the brown pillow. Let's open it. Do do do. Made a point of coming home uh, early today. Not early from, but like earlier than I might otherwise, uh, because this is coming, and I've been waiting for it, and it's pretty exciting. So let me show you what it is. As I do in these videos. Okay, but let me also just pick out the slip that says how many million dollars I paid for this. Wow, this is massive. This is kind of exciting. I didn't realize it was going to be so big, but yeah. This is... <sighs> wow, it's so big. <laughs> oh! Look how big that is. Can you tell how big that is? That's really big. Hold on a second, I'll find a regular thingy here. Ah, all right, so here is a an Xbox 360 disc. Bloop, dwarfed. It's dwarfed, I say. This is the brand new Dodonpachi Sai Dai Ojo. <laughs> Shoot him up for the Xbox 360 from Cave. This is region free, by the way. It just came out today, and it's the super limited edition. I won't lie, I'm a little irritated at Cave because there's the regular edition, or standard edition, the limited edition, and the super limited edition. Super, I say. But I didn't... I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it seems like a bit of a money grab, honestly. But, I mean, I guess I can't blame them because people like me are willing to pay for something like this because it's special super special so without further ado I will let's see where'd my knife go two minutes uh, anyway <laughs> I'm gonna have to get all this plastic wrap off and they get more plastic wrap off what else what else can I tell you I don't know <laughs> I'm just gonna show it to you oh man this is huge <sighs> it's so big Look at that thing, it's massive. Wow. All right, gotta be very careful opening this up. I don't wanna damage anything. This is not a cheap piece of game stuff. How can I do this? Hmm, I guess I'll try it this way. Oh, very slowly and carefully cutting the cellophane, and hopefully only that. Uh, I really hate trying to save the cellophane on these things because it's scary. You know, I might cut something that I'm not supposed to cut. So I usually end up just ripping it off and then people complain. <laughs> but I don't trust myself with a knife. I'm not exactly, you know, a surgeon. So, but I'm trying here. This is, I mean, obviously you buy this to play the game, but this is so much more than that. This is a collector's piece. And so you want to keep it as nice as you can. And I don't know. My knife is sort of failing me here. You know, one, one false move and you've got... <sighs> All right. Let's see how I can get this. I feel like I need a scalpel. Why is my knife so dull all of a sudden? Maybe there's another one in here that's not so dull. This is exciting, isn't it? <sighs> okay, I'll try this little guy. Are you any sharper? No. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna try this then. Oh, actually, that works pretty well. Sorry if my arm's in the way. Okay, so I'll be able to keep the cellophane. All right. Now I know basically what's inside here, but Open it up and have a look see. Forgive me for being so slow, but alright, I guess we should probably do it this way. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at that. Alright. So 
right on top there is whatever this is <laughs> some art and I will I'm sorry this is slow because it's I want to handle everything gently oh man okay it's nice that they put this in the re resealable plastic kind of uh, envelope appreciate that so on this one we have First, this guy, and these are stickers. Wow, sexy! <laughs> and then some stickers, some sexy stickers. You can see my hand. Woo! And yet more stickers. These are some expensive stickers. Let me just tell you, this is this thing was ridiculously expensive. Uh, I'm not even going to say. <laughs> different people pay different prices, but if you really need to know, you can check online. Okay, next is... <laughs> ah, okay. Wah. Wow, this is cool. Well, this thing, which is... I guess it's just one... Yeah, it's like an art board, I guess you could call it. I don't know what this is meant to be, honestly. It's like a thing that would go with an arcade, I guess. I'm sorry for my ignorance. I'm still kind of new to all this stuff. But anyway, I'm here to show you what I got. This shows all kinds of stuff that I'll <laughs> maybe never understand completely. Next is art book uh, more cellophane oh shocking this is taking forever look at look at the beautiful stuff while I try to open this <laughs> gently I think I'm gonna end up giving up here but I really don't want to cut anything this came out the same day as Shooting Love 10th Anniversary, and uh, I did that interview with Toshiaki Fujino, who was the maker of that, or the programmer, um, and he said he didn't know that they were going to come out on the same day until, I mean, after it had already been decided. So, I expect I'll be getting that today, too. There's a chance a doorbell may even ring while <laughs> I'm doing this, in which case I'll have to answer the door so yeah there's that but I don't know I tell you the life of a collector can be a hard life because you get this stuff and you want to like look at it and play with it and stuff but at the same time you want to keep it in mint condition so you're afraid to touch it a little bit or even open it sometimes you know <laughs> these are beyond first world problems these are like I don't know otaku problems <laughs> but I figure if I'm gonna unbox this and show it to you, I gotta really do it. So, finally got that off. Hopefully slide it out. I'm probably never gonna be able to get back in there anyway into the cellophane, and that won't come off. Oh, sheesh. All right. Seems like we're making, well, this is really glossy, so every time I touch it, it's gonna get a fingerprint on it. That's awesome. But it's really beautiful, too. All right. Okay. Oh. Maybe this is the best way to do this. Focus on that. Okay. And. Hmm. Looks like you can kind of see everything there. Maybe I can, yeah, that's pretty decent. All right. So. The artwork. Are we focused? All right. I'm not gonna take much time on any of the pages. If you wanna, she reminds me of Catherine. <laughs> uh, if you wanna take more time to look at it, you can always pause it. Not that you need me to tell you that, but just that's the thinking behind the quick turning of the pages.
Just letting the art speak for itself. I don't have much intelligence to say anyway, as you probably know by now. This is a really quality art book, I must say. This is just the all of the stuff that they say. The characters talk a lot in this game. I'm not sure. I haven't played it yet. If they, if you can turn the voices on or off, but this is the transcript of what they say. So you want to know what they're saying because it's actually quite hard, even though I speak Japanese, to pick up a lot of what they're saying. It's nice that you can actually read it and, and find out. If you're into that kind of thing, that's the ending. Don't read it. Interview, obviously. Interviews. So yeah, there you go. Very nice art book. And then I'm curious, I always like to look and see what it looks like underneath the dust cover. It's different. So there's that. And then when you take it off, it's, the book itself has that. So that's pretty cool. All right, now where can I put this? Oh, <laughs> carefully. All right, what's next? still so much in here which there better be because this thing cost eight million dollars that's exactly how much it cost now you don't have to ask okay so here is what does this say <laughs> oh this is the opening movie okay when the game starts out there's like a, a movie and this is it so do I have to open this right now? I guess I have to open it, don't I? What are we at? 10 minutes? Oh crap. I gotta speed up. Okay, well. Man, oh man. This is just a really nice set. It makes me wonder why with the cave shooting collection. I mean, I don't want to complain or anything. It's really nice, but the box is just this plain white. But then some people seem to like that, so I guess it's just a just a matter of taste, maybe. But this box is nice. Then again, that could be in response to some of the complaints about how the cave shooting collection box was a little bit uh, plain, <laughs> or a lot plain. All right, here we go. Let's put the plastic here and the spine card. Always nice to get a spine card. One of that because I'm so obsessed with spine cards, I don't know. <laughs> I'll take a quick look at the little booklet, although I doubt there's much to see. <clears throat> but being as this is the super limited edition, I'm assuming there aren't as many copies. It seems like the demand wouldn't be as high just because it's so dang expensive. But uh, I made a decision a couple of years ago, or a year ago, maybe a couple of years ago, that I was going to collect every shoot 'em up for the 360. I'm not trying to get every game or anything like that, just every shoot 'em up, but those are some of the most expensive ones, uh, and they're the ones that I enjoy the most. Okay, here we go. Soundtrack. I think this is actually, yep, two discs. Several of the reflections. Cellophane does that. Hi, there's my face. <laughs> Definitely going to be adding some background music in this video because there's a lot of just silent <laughs> me trying to figure out how to get the plastic off, and there's more more of that to come. All right. Okay. Again, another spine card. And uh, yeah, this is kind of like an Otaku Dream pack. I've been working wicked hours lately because I've been spending a bit of money on games, and I want to 
not uh, feel too bad about it. So, this is an interesting case they put it in. Okay, and then again, we'll take a quick look at the, the book. Although, again, it's probably not going to be too exciting. and lots of Japanese script <laughs> so that's always fun okay and now this is a and I had actually forgotten about this it comes with a steel book or it actually comes in a steel book which I actually kind of prefer that a lot of games they come with the regular case and a steel book and then I don't want to put the game in the steel book because I want to nah, I don't know it's hard to choose or whatever but the game is in here like this is the case that's what you get so I don't have to <laughs> make that decision, I guess. But then at the same time, it's nice to have options. So let me get it open so it's not so shiny. And then I will show it to you. Just more of me struggling with plastic. <laughs> that is the theme of this video. But I won't lie, there was a, a moment where I thought maybe I shouldn't open this. <laughs> but then I just thought, you know what, you only live once, as far as I know anyway. So I might as well open it up and enjoy it. It's not like I'm ever going to sell. This is like a treasure. So, oh, this is really nice. I'm not a big steelbook collector. I have literally one, and that's Batman Arkham City. Um, came with my Wii U game. And, oh, okay. Oh, damn it. I hate it when that happens. Well, at least it's something I don't care about. There's an advertisement in here and it's kind of crumpled up a little bit slightly, but I guess it's no big deal. At least it's not the manual. Anyway, there's the game disc. Nice color disc, which I prefer to the sometimes. Okay, thank you for that, everybody. You can go see that, whatever that is. Oh, it's a CD release. If I were smarter, I'd be like, yeah, these are the people who did something, something. I don't know who these people are, but... This is being produced, I guess, or sold by 5PB, and that's interesting. Um, I guess that means 5PB and Cave or Pals, I don't know. I don't know much about the politics behind uh, game development and stuff, but 5PB made the Ketsui game and the other Dodo and Pachi game. <coughs> Those games were cave games, but they weren't included in the, in the uh, limited, what am I trying to say, in the cave collection because they, they were made by 5PB so anyway the less I talk the better because I'll just expose my ignorance more there you go there's the steel book there's the disc let's see I'll set it down here for a minute and yeah beautiful so dang it I went too long maybe I can cut it anyways that's the unboxing of all this stuff now I have to try to figure out how to put it back together I'll do another video of me playing this game, Dodonpachi Side. I ojo, ojo very poorly. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Sorry, I almost forgot to show the manual, and it's a thick one, too, so I better do that. So there it is. There's the back. And. Again, I'll just let it speak for itself. Even though it speaks Japanese. <laughs> Screenshots. A lot of purple in this game, it appears. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.